I'm here with Steve Nicholson, Chief Football Writer of the Derby Telegraph, after the Rams 2-0 victory over Bournemouth. Steve, what did you make of that? <laughs> uh, I think first of all, what we have to say is it's a fantastic win for Derby. You know, the back-to-back -back home games this week. The idea is, is, is to make most of those games so they're going to the international break in a really healthy position. They won the first one, 2-0, uh, they deserved to win it. It was a, it was a tight game, Bournemouth were a good side, well coached by Eddie Howe good football inside. Uh, there was a lot of good football on show tonight actually, uh, but I thought Derby edged it in the end and as I say, uh, a huge win uh, which sets them up nicely for the weekend against Millwall and uh, I know Steve McLaren says this every week, doesn't look at the tables, I asked him tonight about the table, he said he's not seen it, but if he does look at the table he'll see Derby in fourth place, a point uh, off the top and that's, uh, that's pretty heavy. It was goalless when the key moment of the game arrived yeah. after 67 minutes and former Rams keeper Lee <coughs> Camp was, was sent off for Bournemouth. Yeah, he was. Uh, you know, never, never nice to see somebody sent off. Uh, it was very confusing. Uh, it's still a bit confusing now, actually. Uh, but basically what happened was Jamie Ward chased the long ball through. Uh, Lee Camp came out just out of his area. They collided. Uh, both went down. The ball broke loose. And it appeared to hit a Bournemouth defender and trickle into the unguarded net. Now, at first, the referee appeared to award the goal. And then there was confusion. And then it seemed he brought play back for the infringement. Now, the infringement was either handball outside the box by Lee Camp or the foul on, on, on Jamie Ward, who was basically, Lee Camp was the last man. So, Eddie Howe said Camp got sent off for handball, so we'll, we'll take it as that. Uh, should the referee allow play on? You know, should he have awaited and then awarded the goal? We can all say that it's a split-second decision. You know, and if he's th if he's given the infringement, then that's fair enough. I think Eddie Howe just said in there that they'd rather have the goal gone against them and stuck with the eleven men and so sort of, and seeing if they could bring it back, get back into the game. Uh, Derby would rather have the goal been allowed as well, of course. Uh, so it's all a bit confusing, but in the end, you know, did it change the game? Of course, it always does alter the game when one goes down to ten men, one side. Uh, but Derby are very persistent. They're very patient, very persistent. Keep going, score late goals, and in the end, they got two very good late goals. And uh, it was Will Hughes that broke the deadlock eventually. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was an excellent goal as well. I mean, you know, composure involved. Will on the ball in the box, waited, waited. Fed Chris Martin, who looked like he was going to put the ball in first time, checked. Fed it back to Will Hughes and he cracked it high and wide of the, of the substitute goalkeeper. Great finish. Uh, he's got two goals this season and both of them have been crackers. The one at Blackburn was. Uh, he should score more goals. I often mention that to him. We have a little bit of banter about it. But he's got the ability to score more goals. And, he, and he's got the ability to shoot as well, which he maybe should do a bit more. So that was an excellent goal. And Chris Martin uh, finished it off with uh, an injury time. Yeah, he's seventh of the season. Uh, the way he's going, he is going to be 20 goals plus again, which would be a fantastic achievement. Again, you know, they caught, Bournemouth were looking for a way back into the game, which is natural. Derby caught them. I think it was Bryson knocked it out wide of Johnny Russell, who's put a lovely ball in. It was just inviting Chris Martin to run the ball into the net, which he did, smashed it high into the net. As I say, seven goals for the season for him. And in the end, it was about the result, this one. Derby have played better. But I still thought it was a terrific performance for many different reasons and I say a very big three points.